Hi, it's Carol from bookreporter.com. You know, readers often write and ask, how do you read as much as you do? Well, I'm gonna give you my secret. I listen as much as I read. And what I find is that by listening to audiobooks, I'm able to increase my reading time, but also I'm able to have a different experience with the book as well. On Book Reporter each month, we have a feature called Sounding Off on Audio, where you can tell us what you're reading and tell us about both the book and the narrator, rating both, because sometimes you like the book better than you like the narrator, and sometimes you like the narrator better than you like the book. And then we give away two copies of an audiobook each month. This month, it's Jennifer Weiner's Mrs. Everything and Mary Alice Monroe's The Summer Guests. Now, you have till July 1st to enter to win these books just by telling us what you're listening to and giving it a rating. It's right out, out there on the site. Also, I'm not sure if you're aware that in each of the uh, About the Book pages that we build on the site, whenever there's an audio book available, we add that on the site so that you're able to know exactly where the audio book is available from, and who is the narrator on it as well. And we also promote that in the newsletter. For those of you then who are not sure what you wanna be listening to on audio, you may wanna take a look at that and see where you wanna take a leap and take a try. Also, wanna share a little bit about some interesting audios that I've been listening to. First is Daisy Jones and the uh, Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Uh, this one was really interesting because it's a multicast recording. For those of you who may be familiar with the New York Times bestselling book, what happens in it, it's about a band from the 1970s talking about why the band broke up and who Daisy Jones was to this band. And actually the recording is done with a multicast with all different characters all telling their tales. And it works so well because the book is done in an interview kind of a format. So by them telling their story, you're getting that same kind of experience with multi voices. I also love listening to memoirs on uh, audio. I love listening to memoirs, especially when they're narrated by the author. I feel like you're having a very personal experience. This is what I had listening to Isaac Mizrahi's I Am. And it was just terrific because you felt like you got to know Isaac as the time went on. He's hilariously funny. And he's telling really inside stories about the world of fashion and his life. And by him narrating it, it's just really special. Since I finished reading, I wanted the epilogue. I wanted the next one. And it's kind of funny because it's a memoir. I has to live a little bit more life for me to get more of a story. For Melinda Gates, we've got The Moment of Lift, in which a nonfiction title, where she talks about what happens by lifting women up in the world, what it means for society as a whole. Very interesting read, something that we gave away on reading group guides, and we've got groups that are going to be weighing in after reading it. I have a book that I want to give on audio to every grandmother I know. This is Anna Quinlan's Nanaville, which is read by Cynthia Farrell. It's terrific. It reads really well about what it's like to be a grandmother compared to what it's like to be a parent. And she does a terrific job on the narration, so much that it sounded so fresh and so good that I thought Anna was actually reading the stories of what happened with her grandson. Really fun read. Also, many publishers are doing early reading copies of books so that just like they do advanced reading copies in hardcovers, they've been doing this of the audiobooks. And right now I'm listening to The Whisper Network by Chandler Baker. It's terrific and I'm listening to it before the book comes out. So this is something that's happening more and more, is something you wanna give a listen to. Something else to think about on audio is often there are bonus tracks that are added on the site where you can maybe hear an interview with an author, like on the uh, audiobook for The Silent Patient. Alex Michelides does an interview at the end where he talks about how Greek mythology uh, influenced his writing, which is something that I never thought about when I was reading this book. So once again, reading is a very private experience. You get another way to have a relationship with the author and with that book by listening. So there are just some like tips for audiobook listening. I'll be sharing more in the months to come. So thanks for joining us and make sure you also are looking for what you can listen to when you're on bookreporter.com.